If you want to know how to make a car spawner or a mobile garage system like jailbreak, make sure to watch all of the way to the end to find out how to. Hey guys and welcome back to this brand new video on my newbie channel and in this tutorial I'll be showing you how to make a like a mobile garage uh, like jailbreak. I probably already did it in a um, jailbreak series one but this one is going to be better so like you can spawn in a car and if there's already a car from you you cannot spawn another one just a limited and you have to delete it manually and um, should be good to go so um, yeah that's good. And if you haven't subscribed yet and you're new, go ahead and please subscribe. We're almost at 3,000 subscribers. And also, shout out to my member. Um, he doesn't want to why he leaked, but shout out to you, uh, my dude. And um, we can start off. So, you want to be doing, of course, we want to be doing a few things. We need, of course, a GUI. And you may be wondering, newbie, how am I going to do that? Well, good luck. I will show you. Um, so of course we need some things. So we need to go in home and then start our GUI over here. Click the plus, screen GUI, and rename it to car spawn system. And make sure to capitalize every single thing I do. Add in a frame and um, put the frame at anchor point 0 0.5, comma, 0 0.5, enter. It's going to be a bit offset, but don't worry. Set the size to 0, 700, 0, 250. Boom. Then add in a UI corner so it gets squeaky lines. And, of course, add in uh, and the position 0, 0.5, comma, 0, comma. And this is going to be pretty, yeah, not, not expecting. 0 minus 0 0.7 comma 0 and it's going to disappear but don't worry you want to add in a uh, local script and name rename it to the main executor because this is going to be our executor script which is going to execute a lot of our scripts um what you can do is you need of course to add in an um and add in a text button i'm just going to put it right here for testing uh, of course, you can um, you can customize it as you want. I'm just gonna name it to Mobile Garage. Mobile Garage. I'm just gonna do it like that. Uh, yeah, just some random things. Okay, so this is your um, GUI for now. But to add in, you want to rename the text button to um, Car Spawn. Uh, wait, no, 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 no. Sorry, Activator. And this one, just keep it. You want to go into your main executor script. You want to type script dot parent dot activator dot mouse button one click. Come on, connect function, and then if script dot parent dot frame uh, the position is equals equals to udem two dot new, and then the co uh, then the not coordinates the same things you did to position the frame so that is going to be this then so if it is at that position we're gonna get our frame uh, to our position by saying script dot parent dot frame script dot parent dot yep dot tween position udem two dot new udem two dot new and then 0 0.5 comma 0 comma 0 0.2 comma 0 and now you want to copy this and then else and then paste that in but make this to we colon to ween position and remove these and add in a bracket over here and over here so that is uh, the main thingy uh, we're not done yet though uh, because we're going to be adding in the frame, a scrolling frame. And I believe you can just make it like that. Uh, yep. You can keep it like that. Only set the size to maximum. As I did. And then, then I'm just going to get the frame over here. 
Um, there should be a way to get this the other way. Like that. Okay, well, that's a bit weird. Well, what you want to do is you want to add in an image label because so you can add in a photo of your car if you really want that. So I'm going to customize my GUI really, really quickly. I'm going to put it in the middle. And I'm going to add in two buttons inside of the image label. And this is going to be the delete car and the spawn car. And of course, this is the delete one. Um, like that. Make it a little bit smaller. Just customize the GUI as you want, as I'm doing right now. Uh, this is delete. I'm gonna put it down and I'm gonna do like that and then spawn car and put this up so I can do like that and rename it to spawn so this is you can add in more cars by just copying this and then paste it right over here um, so now once you go into your main executor and then script well spawn car script the parent dot uh, frame dot scrolling frame dot image label image label um image label dot uh, dot spawn car dot mouse button one click comma connect function I believe it's supposed to be a player function I, I am co totally correct Keep in mind, uh, this is my script, and yeah, you can take it, of course. Local debounce is equal to true. Not return, but true. If script, if debounce, sorry, debounce is equal to true, then local player is equals to game the player. So local player, local player. Now you want to add in two remote events over here: the spawn car. And the the lead car. So game dot uh, replicated storage dot spawn car colon fire server onto the player. Uh, now you want to do something confusing. If game dot workspace colon find first child car dot dot player dot name because we're gonna set our car name to the player's name, then script dot parent dot frame. Uh, dot, uh, blah, 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 scrolling frame, dot image label, dot spawn car, dot text is equals to, and I believe it's supposed to be, yep, you already have a vehicle. And of course, you need to copy this. Boom. Wait one second. I'm gonna reset this to the spawn text. And if that's not the case, you can set this to successfully spawned and wait one second and paste it to spawn again. Um, and we're going to set our frame back so you don't have to click it away. Boom. Um, so that's the uh, spawn car function. I'm going to copy every single thing. It's going to be the delete car. And paste it down here. Then instead of spawn car, delete car. And remove that for like this, all of that. Just paste every single thing from spawn car to delete car. And then delete. Delete. Successfully deleted. No fecal found. So if you want to test this really quickly. I'm going to set my frame back. And I'm gonna test this real quick. Keep in mind there is no car, so it should say no car has been found. And it's gonna say successfully spawned because um, yes, then delete car successfully deleted. That is probably a little glitch. Um. Hey, well that's pretty weird. You want to delete that line? And I'm going to sort this out. 
I found the error. These lines has to be switched. This is going to be over here. And these have to be switched with these ones. Right, just like that. So that is your script for this. Uh, I'm totally correct. Yep. And now you add, you want to add in a script in server script service. I'm going to name it the car handler. I'm going to make a car uh, with uh, da -da -da -da, just car. I'm going to use a free model car. Why not Lamborghini? They're cool. Gonna put it in replicated storage. I'm just gonna name it to Lambo, because that is way better. Delete this. Um, this script may be confusing. You have to do one thing first, and that is get the Lambo out again, get a part, and make sure this part covers the entire car, like I'm doing, and then like that, and boom. Like so, the entire car is like kind of gone. Set the transparency to 1. Anchored, um, I think. And can't collide false. Now you want to rename, you want to rename this to center. Put it in a car. And air set up. Oh, well, that's pretty strange. And keep it like that for now. Okay, what you want to do is put the sensor inside of the body's car, and oh my. Yep, don't touch any of the car scripts, you can break it. So get your sensor part, click on the Lambo, primary part, and set it to the sensor. So the car is now kind of like attached to the part we just made. Now you can safely put it back in replicated storage. Over here, we want to type game.replicated storage dot spawn car dot on server event colon connect function and to the player a player's function of course then if game dot workspace uh colon find first child so if uh if game the workspace colon find first child car dot dot player dot name so if there's a car with the player's name then print player already has car because in the other script we're already handling it and i just got scared but okay and then the locals player local players C frame is equals to and this is gonna be confusing. Player dot character dot humanoid root part dot C frame times C frame dot new. So we're making a new C frame kinda. You want to set this C frame to zero comma zero comma minus fifteen. So this car will be near you, but pretty far away. So you can like walk to it. Local car is equals to game dot replicate storage dot Lambo clone clone. So we're just making a new Lambo. Car dot name is equals to car dot dot player dot name. So like car newbie dot pdf car uh um, hello one two three. Uh, the car dot parent is going to be set in workspace. So in workspace. And the car, colon, and we're gonna now teleport the car to us. So set primary part C frame is e um, like set primary. Yep. And I thought it was equal. Sorry, but it's going to be the player's C frame in brackets. Now we should be copying this and paste it again. Spawn car, delete car, um, and then delete all this code. Local car. Is equals to game dot workspace colon find first child car dot 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 player dot name and I'm a bit tired so sorry so now that is pretty easy if car then so if there's a car we're gonna get our character to jump for safety reasons in case you glitch the jump is extra true wait 0.1 car colon destroy so we're destroying the car and we're gonna like unjump our character so set it to false and if this is all not the case we're just gonna print no car has been found and this is everything you need so we're gonna be testing this out and uh, let's see how it goes so play mobile garage it slides in and slides out spawn the car 
and you can see the car spawns right in front of us. And if we want to spawn it again, you already have a vehicle because our car is the car newbie doobie dev. If we delete the car, successfully deleted, and we're gone, and I did not get jumped. Maybe if I'm in the car. Yep, as you see, we've been jumped. If you do that, and then, oh, hold on, and delete, we jump automatically without touching anything. So this is a short tutorial on how to make a um, car spawner, like mo like jailbreak and mobile garage. If you did enjoy this video, um, do not forget to like and subscribe if you're new. And um, I'll see you all guys all in the next video. Peace out and goodbye.